Today I'm going to show you how to add a course on school. Step number one, go to school.com or use my affiliate link in the description if you need help getting there. This is what the homepage looks like. Step number two, click on your emoticon in the upper right hand corner. You should see a picture of your face or your account, whatever your icon picture is. Then click on profile and you will of course need to create your own custom community to be able to add a course onto a school community. If you haven't done that yet, consider using my video down below because you have to go in reverse a little bit to to do that. If you have already created a community, click on the view button right here next to your custom community. Then once you're in your school community here, all we have to do is click on the upper tab here, the second one called classroom. And you can see this box right here. It says add new course. Click on that. Then we're just going to have to go through all of these steps on naming your course and such. So a course name here, I'm going to name it school community for fitness then add your description. I highly suggest that you use some of the keywords that people might search for within school because that way they can find it through the search function. Next, what we wanna do here is we need to select on which methods people can obtain the course, right? So level unlock is really popular. This is essentially where members can get to a different separate level and your course will unlock to them. This is huge for incentivizing members to be active in your community and keep them as paying members. I highly advise you do this. Or you can do the buy now function if you only want to sell it or you can do it time unlock or private. If we're going to do a level unlock here, we're just going to select at what level that will be unlocked. I'm going to do three here. Next, what we want to do is we need to add our cover art. So click on upload here and I'm going to choose this as my cover art, then click on save. Then once we are done with all of this here, we need to click on add. And this is essentially what the course is going to look like. Click this little edit button right here to start editing it. And you can put all the information in here you want. What I would highly suggest is maybe joining a different school similar to your niche and just kind of looking at what other successful people are doing here. Welcome to the course. What a lot of people tend to do here is have text. They'll have a bunch of text like article format or else you can choose to add video. If we click enter here, you can click this add button and then you can add a resource link. I will advise though, if you try to go and add a video, like if you go and try to add a decent sized video, it's going to tell you that it cannot exceed 100 megabytes. If that's the case here, what you're gonna have to do is custom import a YouTube video by pasting the link in there. You can use YouTube, Vimeo, Loom, Wisti, and add it there. Essentially, we can't host videos of the course itself on here. But this is just like any other basic video editor. You can do all the H1s, text, uh, you can do bullets, you can add custom images. I'll add this image right here, then I'll add some custom text, I'll paste that in there, and then I will click save here, essentially after you're done. Proofread all of this, because this is kind of a big deal. Your courses need to be special to your community, because if they're paying for this stuff or like they're looking forward to this so just make sure it's good of high quality click save here and then this is what it is it's pretty simple but it doesn't have to recreate the wheel here right this is what all course platforms do then if you go back to the community here and you click on the classroom feature here this is where your course is and then you can add more courses what's really cool is you can get unlimited amounts of courses and again if you're on the fence about using school guys this platform is going to be the future say goodbye to Facebook groups and teachable and thinkific all the other platforms Platforms are going bye-bye. Alex Hermoisey is backing this and pretty much like I think he owns it, but this is going to be the future because they actually care about the users and they have plugins. It's going to have everything. If you're thinking about signing up, consider using my affiliate link in the description. After all, I am trying to help you here and I'm rooting for you. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.